Greetings, dental viewers! And howdy, howdy! We're gonna stop wasting time by spending 3,000 mystery points! So let's just go ahead and start Natsuno. It's Yay! been like 10 million years! Uh huh. Speaking of Natsuno, we're the bittersweet gamers. Or at least you're We Squared. And you're the opinionator. Yeah, I don't like doing it this way. <laughs> Senpai, what's going on? Oh wow, she has more of a face than I expected. Minami, someone's trashed our room again. Didn't that just BJ? No, 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 see, I heard something weird, so I was investigating to make sure there weren't any creeps around. Ninji just needs to go date Kisaragi or something. <laughs> also, watch this. Yes? Watch what exactly? Shh, stand over here, quietly. BJ's watch in the, the hamper. laundry basket. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? <laughs> Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? Yeah? What do you think it is? She's probably about to say some sort of pervy camera set up by the boys. Mm, it's a spy camera from a peeping Tom. Oh. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. It might be... Uh, one of the men in black, but you'd think the SIU would be a little more confident, especially if they know what they're looking for. Right? <laughs> I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That is where we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. Actually, this is, uh, this is mine. And no, it's not a spy camera. Yours? Yeah, it's a, it's an alarm clock. <laughs> a clock? <laughs> hey, BJ, help me out. At the tone, the time will be. <laughs> uh, let's just pick up the bag. Close the locker. <sighs> I gotta be careful. <laughs> Get in the bag, BJ. So you just carry it around? It's my clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, I... The time is now, Natsuno. Go to the gate. <laughs> Can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. <laughs> Isn't it kind of big? It's retro. No, 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 the 80s is when things would be retro, too. It's it's uh, got a lot of modern electronic features. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, we'll just be on our way then. Ha, ha, ha. My clock! You're going home dressed like that? Uh... She does have an aversion to pants. I'm sure it makes many people very happy. Yes. Yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so... Plus, that's what I'm dressed as in the opening, so I gotta keep my image going throughout the entire story. Yeah, that's a good excuse. <laughs> a man in black. Of course. I think it's crazy no one else seems to be suspicious of her. Eh, same as last time. Uh, hey, stop right there! <gasps> oh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's fine and all, but I, I mean, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> see, you see what I mean? Uh, try backing up. Maybe you could talk to her senpai, the track leader. No? Nothing? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't walk around. Ah, you gotta wait for him. <laughs> Maybe he needs to stop wearing those glasses. They're clearly blocking his vision. Natsu no. Natsu no. <laughs> okay, we're here. Activate 
update. Sentinel search range. Now, how can a drone activate the gate? Didn't we get this big, long thing about how you have to be compatible? We do know that Miuno was operating a drone at one point. Uh, maybe technology's different than organic? Where should we look this time? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I think I see where these paths are going to lead. Well, Billy? Sector question mark? Start with the tough What's one, that huh? One at the bottom. Sector five, nineteen forty-five. Whoa! So we can travel to the past too? Hey, that's the year the Pacific War ended. And away we Let's go. Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. Man, she's really gonna stick out like a sore thumb wearing that. I'll say. This building is all old and musty in my time, but it smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. This all feels like a dream. Check it out, BJ. It's my school in the past. You really can jump back and forth through time, can't you? She is remarkably sanguine about everything. She's very positive and optimistic. Natsu no. Natsu no. I know, I know. We have to be careful not to change anything in the past. Uh, that's not really what you need to be concerned with here. That doesn't seem to be how time travel works in this game. Assuming they're even traveling through time. Right. Or else we'll totally screw up the future. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'm in the past. I need to go look at my three-year-old father. Well, that's a pretty interesting way to look at it. <laughs> I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? We can't change the future. <laughs> we mustn't change anything in the past. I want to go see my parents. I'll name my daughter Natsuno after the kind One-san who met me when I was a child. <laughs> Man, so is the Sentinel here? I have detected a drone signal. An active Sentinel is present. Yes? Are you serious? <laughs> Maybe try going to go and get a classroom? Dude, he makes cute noises when I walk past him. I'm trying to make him turn around over and over. Someone's here. We've got to hide. Tamo Kurabe, hmm. or Erika Aiba, or whoever this person is. This this could also be our mysterious person number 15. <laughs> And I'm also dying. And that just killed Billy? Okay. <sighs> Not the reaction I expected, but it's the <laughs> one that I got. Ah, uh, okay. And we happen to know... Goto-san. Because of what we've just done... Yeah! ...that Goto is here to get Chihiro. Yeah! Or here to give her Chihiro. Something! Right on time. <gasps> Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them. And they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. I suppose she really is number 15. Yeah. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. <laughs> oh, that's not ominous or nothing. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! 
I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. Uh, it's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. Mm. No, I can't remember anything. Hmm. Was that Goto Senpai? How's that even possible? Surely you can't think you're the only one. Well, I guess this is pretty early in her uh, story, actually, so that's understandable. Well, she does very much have an I'm special thing going on, which I'm not meaning to, like, say in a derogatory yeah, way. Yeah. She keeps calling BJ an alien, even though he's a robot. How could he be here? 40 years in the past. So she's just not likely to think of something like that, apparently. Right. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. A sentinel at Ayami Pass. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. All oh, right, Ayami Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go. I like how you have to use the bag. That's pretty excellent, yeah. It's a nice touch. I like that thoughtful look on her face as she walked off. Yeah. Well, this must be hers. This is what BJ wanted to get her. I like how she could apparently just walk Can in. Try not to ditch me. Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge! How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the Shifter. Th that is, that's a good question. You don't, strictly speaking, lose <laughs> a 35 meter giant robot. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Wait, so it's the wrong one? 19 is Miura's. Natsuno's is 17. Yeah. Right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19 belonged to a comrade. Belonged. We have seen, though it's been some time, because we only really poked at it. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay, we were thinking that this was the battle that BJ was just talking about, but that battle, like, hasn't happened yet. Yeah. We're, like, up here. I guess here in 45, that's that's when we're going to meet Natsuno. Or, I mean, Miura. Yeah, yeah, like from the other side. So I wonder who BJ is talking about then, the last person who had 19, I guess. I cannot pilot his sentinel. So, BJ is being operated by somebody? That does seem to be how they work. Because we saw it with Miura before. Yeah. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. That sounds like a robot, though. Do you mean he's... Correct. He is dead. BJ... A critical change has been detected. Huh? The Sentinel's primary system has been altered. Huh. Someone bypassed and rebuilt it. That would be Okino's force start. Yeah. I don't really know what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. Uh oh! <gasps> Someone's coming. And it's Miura. Swoop. Ah! Luckily, she's on the track and field team. I don't understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand. Maybe this Miura is somehow a clone of, of this Miura. Maybe. And it's possible that BJ might be 
just Miura's memories copied into an AI program or something like that, and that might be why he was referred to as Miura that one time. Huh, you know, there's something, there's something to that. Yeah. You might be right about that. And I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why? Alright, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi-san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. Well, he kind of can't be a clone, because clones don't have the same compatibility as the original. Or Morimura's doesn't, anyway. Yeah. He's gonna fight too? No, I, I think you're right. It's just he didn't seem like he was a teenager when he was being entrusted with this important work. <laughs> and this, here, like, let's take a look for a second. See? Yeah. What do you need? Don't they look older? Yeah, you're right. I mean, maybe they're not, but... Dang, now someone's coming from the other way. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's been a while, number 19. You should have seen the look on Billy's face. When Okino appeared, he started shaking his fist at him and glaring intensely and didn't say anything, as he still is not saying. That's in, correct. In fact, as far as... Well, I was going to say, you don't even know for sure that Billy is right here, but then he talked. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Hmm. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. And on my second test subject, no less. An alternate route? Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain. I guess the forced activation thing? But you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. To take over? What an ominous way to phrase that! Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do. Just for good measure. He sure is talking out loud awfully suspiciously <laughs> by himself. <laughs> there we go. As long as they come into contact with Miorakun. Yeah? The data should spread to the others. Uh... Like, if people come into contact, maybe they will get the force... Who was that guy? ...force start program overwritten onto their nano machines too. Yeah, however it is that Okino modified them. I mean, that makes sense. But that was suspicious as all heck. Oh, you don't say. Very should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. And now she doesn't look so peppy. Well, you know, she found out someone died. We're here, BJ. Someone's coming. Yeah. That's what I was waiting for. Quick, hide! Yeah, this is the other side of the Mura prologue, or route we were on. I'm pleased the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the professor was the right choice. Huh. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. <laughs> and then BJ is like, meow, meow. And Okino's like, oh, it's just a cat. <laughs> I'll set it back to its original key. I'd best take my leave. Did he just use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? Uh oh. <laughs> ah, this is what happened to her. This is why she hasn't come back. We can't go home. 
analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. Look, that's not that bad. She's still going to have to eat, find somewhere to sleep. Yeah, but a couple days, you know. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? Wasn't she gone for a while? From their perspective, yeah, but when we're talking time travel, we don't know how much control they have of the exact moment they left versus the exact moment they arrived, you know what I'm saying? Well, based on the way the story's presented, they probably have an extremely high degree of control over that. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. It has been quite some time since she vanished, so clearly something else gets in the way. Then again, we don't really know, have a, have a good way of judging the... The passage of time. Right. Also, Back to the Future. Just wanted to throw that out there. Nice reference to another sci-fi movie. Be gate and be sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The sentinel? What was that just now? So, in other words, if she goes to Ayame Pass and finds number 17... Well, no, number 19 was the one at Ayame Pass. That's where they went, remember? That's where the uh, fort was. So they still need to find out where the heck Sentinel 17 is. Someone else is coming. I have to hide BJ fast. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. And Shihiro's probably worried about me. Shh. <laughs> yeah, we really have been on the other end of this. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? All right, so we're not going through the entire scene. Because we know what we saw after that. Yeah. With, with what Nat Natsuno saw. Yeah. But we've actually done that. So conveniently, we'll, we can go ahead and unlock and move on. Yay, I was really concerned. But first we're gonna do Miura. Huh. Yeah, that's not suspicious in any way, shape, or form. Maybe she really is number 15. Maybe Miwako is the person who has the key, but if we're looking for a 15th person, the one who is... Taking the amnesia. You know, it could be because they're planning on doing the Aegis plan so they don't need to recruit more people because this is the end anyway. Uh-huh. That might be where it comes from. Well, doesn't that kind of make sense? Because yeah. Goto is trying to be like, just forget about all this. You're not really connected to this anymore. Oh, wow. And that is exactly what happened or what Okino was talking about with the force activation code. It's so weird to not have to pay... <laughs> to just be given stuff? Literally everything we, we, we do, we'll have the mystery points for now. <laughs> Miura, onward! And he's still just wandering around up here. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. I don't care that we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. That's a good attitude to take. I agree. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. I'll bring the Sentinel with me, and I'll change history. Um, I don't know, man. I don't think we really want to spread Imperial Japan. <laughs> it's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. <sighs> But what if it's impossible for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back, no matter what it takes. Hmm. I wonder, what if I never actually traveled through time? What an interesting thing to bring up. <laughs> it's possible that space-time here is warped somehow, but it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. That's a weird conclusion to jump to, I think. One wonders why he would have any idea of space-time. 
Yeah. A Japanese teenager born in, like, around 1930? Yeah. Talking about space-time being warped? Seems like maybe he uh, might be aware of some concepts that are a little strange. Well, on account of him, you know, being from 2188. <laughs> and I guess this is where... Maybe he's going to run into Natsuno. Yeah. Because we know this is after Natsuno's stuff. Yeah. Right, because he piloted the Sentinel to fight the Kaiju after his encounter with Natsuno and then got shifted here. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan recovered quite well. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Well, that's the 80s in Japan for you. Yeah. Before the war... My uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. Okay, I mean, that kind of makes sense why he might have a firmer grasp of the concept of space-time. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. I bet he's happy he read the book, right? American weapons. I checked the library for any records of such a weapon. But in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the U.S., not anywhere. What was that thing? Hurry up, Miwa-chan! Oh! Slow down, Iori-chan! I'm surprised she didn't Female just students. fall in love with Miyuta! <laughs> Looks like the school's still here. <laughs> Isn't that... It's the girl with no pants! Yeah! Shouldn't you be Perry, wearing pants? Miyorkun? Thank goodness. I have many questions. You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. The one who doesn't wear pants. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I've got to say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. Area 51? But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> this is not the re reaction I expected, says Miura. A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Why? He meant shoot. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. right. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors? Natsuno-san. <sighs> <laughs> <sighs> she doesn't wear pants. <laughs> Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... <laughs> yes. Yes. She certainly is quite yes. <laughs> I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. <laughs> but right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Hang on. This is my mess. So I have to figure out how to clean it up. I'll pawn you off on one of my friends. But then again, I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh yeah, Granny Tamal went on a trip. So Jurokun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. It's not like she knows about Megumi yet. When we saw that part of the scene, she was like, whoa. <laughs> Granny Tamal? Uh, sorry. Let me go grab my stuff really quick. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Yeah, when she met Tamo, Tamo must have been like, Oh, you're the girl who didn't wear pants from back then. <laughs> then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. It made sense now, but boy, at the time, it was freaking weird. <laughs> Karabe? Hmm. Hmm. Managed to leave quite the dent. Do not be sad, cute little girl. <laughs> Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. Oh. 
So how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. How'd you make that kind of damage with the laundry bucket? The bunny was fighting. Aww. And it beat up giant ghosts. Because the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Now, she's saying ghosts here, but she's probably saying either obake or bakemono, which is a word that you would use for ghosts, but, but it also, could also be monster. Quite literally, it means monster. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. Tamao-san. It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. Familiar? Yeah. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately, and I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. Uh, is that what it is? It's just that, ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel like more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. The don't say. <laughs> the sirens. Generally speaking, all of this is stuff that we would know. Mm. We're just getting a little extra detail. Yeah. This is bad. For now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn on the radio. This military broadcast, air raid alarms have been sounded. Enemy is flying at low altitude. More air units to be expected. The firebombing against the coming invasion of Tokyo. We ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bomb-proof shelter. Come on, Chihiro-chan. We have to go. Jiro-kun, are you home? And now we see the other side of this. Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Mm, I'm hungry. Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my judo, by the way. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... <laughs> Do you need something from him? <laughs> it's not what it looks like. This is just, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Yeah, at the time, it sure looked like Natsuno and Miura were a bit closer than they actually were now that we get this from the other end. Mm -hmm. Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. <laughs> Standing at so, attention. Um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not... The details don't matter. <laughs> Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya. And that's all we get. <laughs> Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine. It's fine. I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. She just accepts everything so fast. I mean, does she even consider the implications of the things that are happening? Uh, probably not. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Yeah. Because, like Miura pointed out, like, she's cheerful and bright and brave. And yes. And, uh, yes. <laughs> well, this is awkward. 
I guess for Billy, she's the yesest character. I refuse to comment on that. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Okay, so this means that the Force Launch program had spread by this point to Natsuno. Mm-hmm. And now it's spread to Megumi and Juro. And then after this, Megumi purifies Miura. Yes, but Fluffy did mention that the Force Launch thing was a separate thing. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Your stomach thinks you should. I'm pretty hungry too, can I come over? <laughs> no, that was, uh... I'll go fix you a plate. So, Tamao-san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Of course she is. Shimane. She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you know my grandma? Yes. <laughs> yes, you do, huh? So then, how long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, all right. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Meanwhile, Juro is going, at least it's not another girl. <laughs> Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. We, we never really did see the rest of this scene. Yeah. There's a projection device where the radio used to be. Dude, the furniture? It's amazing that as much of the <laughs> furniture has stayed in place for 40 years. <laughs> it's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. Yeah, because he was there at the ruins. I mean, it just got rebuilt, obviously, but... Or... Or, okay, or that didn't happen. Well, I mean, it did happen, but didn't it happen somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. It's just another piece of evidence leading towards do not believe any of this mm -hmm. and the world is a cage we've been trapped in since before we were born. Matrix-style space colonies. Yeah. A.K.A. Megazone 2-3. <sighs> the damage on this pillar is missing, and it wasn't changed when they remodeled. See? Uh-huh, okay, yeah. If this really is the Karabe's house... Then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar. Well, well. Back on my parents' property. I was not expecting this. Me either. There was a wooden single-story house. It was built in the middle of the 20th century. That humble little place stood for about a hundred years. My grandfather often told me stories about it. For a hundred years, meaning it didn't get destroyed? Yeah. So why were the kaiju in 45 then? Isn't that too early? Yeah, but that was a different place too. Oh, yeah. You just got done telling me that, man. <laughs> and this is hard to keep track of like that, yeah. Some of his fondest childhood memories were at that house. Like, were these sectors just sort of constructed out of people's memories? Probably. That sounds lovely. I'll have it produced for you. See? I suppose it was. <laughs> you will. But all I have left are old photographs. That's fine. I can restore them for you. Thank you, Mira-san. I'm looking forward to it. And that's also how Tamo Kurabe became a quote-unquote character. Yeah. In Miura's mind or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh. How do I take from this anything other than digital world in space colonies? No, really. If I'm not. I don't, I don't know, man. That seems to be what it's screaming at me. Like I'm, I'm. I accept that I am not always right, and I, like everyone else, have my hobby horses and go tos. I, I get this. I accept this. I don't expect that I'm always correct. I don't. I'm not even like expecting that I'm correct in this instance, but that is what it seems like to me, 
Even though it's probably like a go-to. That's the conclusion I've come to too, man, so it's not just you. But after that scene right there, <laughs> I cannot think of it being anything different. <sighs> Were you just on a call with someone else? Maybe I'm just wrong, but... With Professor Karabe, yes. Professor, you say? Well, we were discussing the layout of the residential zone. Oh, that's right. Well, maybe it isn't digital. They're actually building the place. Well, even still, there is definitely an artificiality to everything on each colony. I was just trying to bring up a show mm -hmm. where they couldn't leave. I, I think I was thinking of Gridman. SSS Gridman. SSSS Gridman? I can't remember. Three, four S's, something <laughs> How like that. Many S's. S Gridman. Or something else. It might have been something else. Where, like, you can't leave. That's a common trope I've seen. Oh, it's in Megazone 2 3, too. Of course. Not only in sci fi, but even in, like, horror. Yeah. If they're actually physically building it and they're all real people in there, well, there's a limit. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the colony itself, if it's exceptionally small, could just be Tokyo. Mm hmm. And so there's a point where you don't get to leave, and, and there's got to be some reason that it's like that. And some reason, well, universal control manipulates everyone's memories yeah. so that they don't have to worry about this and can just live in their manufactured world forever, or it is digital. And that's why every time we're on someone's viewpoint, the world seems to kind of be built for them in a way. Alternately, a way you could look at that... Uh, the world it sort of fulfills everyone's point of view. In a sense, a person is their point of view. Kind of, yeah. Like you just naturally think of different things and see different things and have different ideas sort of naturally flow to you. So mm -hmm. it, it may be that they're just noticing the things that relate to them. Yeah. Well, those are pretty opposite interpretations, but... Professor Karabi was born in the 21st century. What?! She's 120 years old, right? I know that she's receiving nanomachine treatment. She did not look that old. No! But she still looks so young. Thanks. <laughs> she's Professor Morimura's mentor, I hear. Uh-huh. Makes Quite sense. an intelligent individual. Well, yeah. She is the foremost expert on AI, after all. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> uh. Right. Anyway, is something wrong? Why does something have to be wrong for me to call? Well, I just so happen to have a really urgent problem. I need emotional support stat. Huh? And I need it from you. <laughs> oh, that does sound urgent. <laughs> then I'll be waiting. <laughs> well! Huh. I bet this is important. I also think that's important. I wouldn't think this was important, except for the fact that we know it's important. I, wow, we just get the blueprints. <laughs> Is there some reason <laughs> that we need to know this? <laughs> okay. So both of these are locked, but we've already fulfilled the conditions to move on. Right. But let's get a battle done. Sounds good to me. We have to get through them. Mm -hmm. So we may as well do them. I mean, I enjoy them, but I, I, I appreciate that they're probably not as interesting for other people. Mm -hmm. But we find out things that are important in them, and, I mean, we have to do them. Yeah. Ah, Sentinel Gladiator Kaiju will appear. I suppose this is our boss. And there's no limits. We just, nobody can go down. I feel like Megumi might be not the best option, but I want to try shielding. Yeah. I have to have Goto, and if there is a boss, I imagine that these two can take care of it. <laughs> Though it stinks, he only get four. Dymo signatures? Look there. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. What's that? It looks like fighter jets. Uh, are those sentinels? Ah. Uh, are they on our side? Some kind of flying G1? Yeah, it must not be flying. They look like first gen models, but they're giving off Dymo signatures. Most likely, they're the first generation units we lost in the battle at Sector 2. Yeah. So they were seized and repurposed? 
repurposed. Well, it may be more accurate to say they were reset. Huh. In other words, they were really kind of Daimos to begin with. Like, Okino just designed them based on the Daimos principle. Yeah. Which they, the Daimos designed themselves. Right, right. When we attempted to deploy automated Sentinels, they behaved as if they were Daimos. During the battle at Sector 2, Units 1 to 11 were being remotely controlled by me. Jeez, that's some obscene control you have. Well, they lost, so it must not have been that great. Well, right. You piloted 11 units by yourself at the same time? Poorly. It wasn't efficient, <laughs> and the D-forces were clearly influencing their processes and abilities. And that's why we directly control them now. Too many problems with automation. Automation is what got us into this mess. By the way, let's launch more interceptors. <laughs> I thought they were destroyed in that battle. I don't know if it's that simple. Juro, what do you mean by that? Look, they're coming. They seem like pretty heavy units. And they've even got the composite ceramic armor. So they're close quarters Daimos frontliners now. If we don't shut them down, the terminal won't last. Cool. Oh, no. No, that's not really a problem. It just means we have to hit them with something bigger. Yeah. We can't, like, weaken them with peppering missiles or something. They don't stand a chance. Wow, you don't suppose Demolisher Blade uh, would do no damage to them? Oh, no, come on. Demolisher Blade should easily do damage to them. It's way above that threshold. Well, it's damage times each hit. Well, yeah, that, but... That's how this armor works. But isn't each hit over 300, though? Isn't it like 800 per hit or something? No. Then again, maybe maybe the way the armor works is based on total damage. Well, I, I've got Hijiyama. I will find out. I suspect it will not be. It just means that I can't use, like, crummy guns. Yeah. Backup deployed. Yeah, that's the problem with automation. I won't give up. I'm counting on you. This automation sure is a problem. <laughs> Shh. What can I do? Do you want the Daimos to start, like, spawning units that will hijack sent or sentries and interceptors? Yes, then I can use more non-sentries and interceptors. <laughs> Back me up. Okay, now I'm going to have Judo start Let's running see. around, but not yet. Number 12, moving up. Oh, they're fast! I did get the limiter removal, by the way. Attack and speed doubles. Oh, that looks good. Jeez. Wait time zero seconds. Let's just try it. Now it's a real fight. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Boom. Okay. Down. Barely one shot at him, too. And that's with the limiter up, so normally I can't just throw out a demolisher blade and take him out, I guess. <laughs> Confirm termination of Gladiator Daimo's signature. Yes! Much obliged! See all the zero, 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 zero popping up on Hijiyama because of his armor? I took off counter from him to fit in the limiter. Defend for more EP. Number 23. Hello! <sighs> Try it. Confirm termination of Gladiator Daimo's signature. I mean, what? What do you want? Well, now the others are all going to spawn instantly. There's only five enemy sentinels left. Warning, Dymo signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Woo! Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. We can't afford to hold anything back. Don't try to take them down by yourself. Stay in close formation and rely on your allies. But Hijiyama's taking them out just fine. Shh. I'm gonna move out of the way. I, mean, yeah. I could run in and just ice it, but then I'll get hit by the drum. You know what? What am I talking about? Who effing cares? <laughs> Why don't I just go ahead and kill it like I have been with everything else, and we'll see if the drum mines are a problem. They're finished. Famous last They're word. Finished. Yes. I even killed You're a couple guys around it. Confirm termination of Gladiator Dymo signature. Four to go. <laughs> Piece of cake. Locked on. Uh, well, truth be told, this actually isn't going to be that great. Got it. Good enough. Nice. Uh, better than I thought it was going to be. 
I I just unpaused for a second and just saw the horde of interceptors vaporize the Apsos. They also took out all the drum mines. Warning, Dymo signatures approaching. Enemy in range. I just feel like it was the right decision to have Hijiyama just say, no kill. Oh great! Looks huh. like we have three more on the and way. It's Hijiyama's turn. <laughs> the practice round's over. Score boost. Let's see. This is hilarious. And and it's like his net the natural energy regen is enough. Yeah. I deny you. How's that? Confirm termination of Gladiator Dymo signature. What? <laughs> Just three more. Don't let your guard down. Those interceptors are disgusting! Give up! <laughs> <laughs> Dino signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Okay. That should be all of them. Everyone, keep at it. What next? Ah, woo! <laughs> Barely made it! Uh, I'd love to go kill something, but I don't need to explain why I have to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna defend. You give everyone the buff. And to get enough energy to drop more interceptors, frankly. It's from the front, but Doria, etc. Damn, cut you. That hit. Don't oh. matter. Good. It Good. don't Good. matter. Gladiator Dymo signature. Two left. Almost there. I'll destroy you. Ah! Oh, yeah. Megumi does not have the arm lasers. Like the convergent, uh huh. I mean, that's why she does have the hyper condenser and and or like cool. this. Yeah, it's really good for her. But let's see if these do anything. Take that. I need to get now. Not much. Not nothing. It does move them though. I guess life comes at you it fast. It does slow them down a little. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Number twelve, moving out. Where'd it go? I don't know, it just freaking... Oh, there it is, it's, it's, it's doing... It's leap attack! Quick, EMP it to knock it out of the air! It's over. You're, you're not wrong. Uh, I, I actually... It counts <laughs> as being on the ground! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do... Wait, no I'm not! I should've score boosted! <laughs> we don't question how this works. It counted as being on the ground, and so Hijiyama killed them. I don't know how he hit that guy up there. He was just like, you think you can retreat? And so he jumped up after him and was like, And that was the end of that. Okay, we win. Confirm termination of Gladiator Dymo signature. I should've used score boost. <laughs> Sentinels. Yeah, bring it. Bring it! Me, Hijiyama, and all of these interceptors will take you on. These Sentinels' ID codes were all three digits. They were newly created as Dymos units. They were the same type as the number 12 I pilot. Edison was the one who put the first gens together. I just helped out. The auxiliary stuff was from my design, like the EMPs and the anti air flares. But these things were never meant to have a direct pilot. The original spec had them all automated. Explains why the enemy got a hold of them. That also means it's got a more unstable connection to its pilot. We had to put a limiter on its functions. Which, by the way, I happened to take off and that's how I killed them all. <laughs> so, its true power is being restrained? What would happen if that limiter came off? <laughs> yes, Hijiyama! Do tell us what would happen if that limiter were removed. I imagine you could demolish your blade two, two of them at once and take them out. You'll get a huge boost in maneuverability, but it'll put an incredible strain on the pilot, too. A small price for new power, and nothing a true son of Japan can't handle. Sounds like it might have its advantages anyway. I'll have to let Sekigahara and Ogata know. <sighs> Everyone all right? Area secure. Heading to next terminal. There was no way Hijiyama was not going to get the MVP award. Right. 
Good enough. That's all that matters. Yep. More mystery points. We'll never spend them all now. Excellent. That was the whole point. Oh. And you have to do a certain shoe event. Interesting. Well, that makes sense. I didn't figure we'd be able to just keep going. Well, yeah. cool. Uh, in that case, let's take a look at what we just got in analysis. And the that was the episode. Yeah. That really looks ominous, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. I mean, didn't really expect anything. Cool. We'll see you all next time. I remember when we had clever intros where we would tell a joke. I remember when we had clever clothing that told a joke. Hey, look, Natsuno's not wearing pants. It's the best I got, man. Natsuno is very yes.